so me and my co-authors recently published an update uh, and a, and a, an analysis of the data from the Captivate study. And as a reminder, the Captivate study is a fa large phase two international clinical trial looking at the combination of ibrutinib and venetoclax in frontline treated young patients with CLL. Uh, this study had two cohorts, uh, an MRD driven cohort where patients were treated with the, with the standard three month lead in one year combination. At the end of that combination, they were then assessed for MRD negativity. If they are MRD negative, they were randomized to placebo or ibrutinib. If they're MRD positive, they are randomized to continuation of ibrutinib or continuation of the two drugs. The fixed duration cohort was basically the same initial treatment of ibrutinib and venetoclax for one year of therapy. At the end of the treatment, though, all patients stopped. And so using this entire body of pa uh, patients, both from um, uh, the MRD cohort who were in the placebo group, so technically fixed duration patients, and those patients in the fixed duration cohort, we looked at those patients with high risk features in how did they perform over time. And what we learned uh, is that patients with high risk features, such as unmutated IGHV, uh, have very high rates of MRD negativities, upwards of 80 to 90% or so um, uh, by the end of the treatment. And so they have very d sensitive disease uh, to this combination. <clears throat> and those patients with DEL17P or P53, in fact, have similar rates of MRD negativity uh, compared to those uh, unmutated patients as well, with close to 70% uh, uh, 80% of patients getting to an MRD negative state in the peripheral blood. One thing that was kind of confirmed from this study that we had seen signals uh, throughout other combination studies is that patients with lower risk disease actually do get to lower rates of MRD negativity, but that they still do phenomenally well, even though they don't convert as much. We know their disease biology is, is low, uh, less proliferative. Uh, in, even if you don't get to deep MRD negative states, these patients can actually have very prolonged progression-free survivals, uh, af even after stopping therapy therapy and not being on any active therapy. So um, this was uh, a study exploring <clears throat> How did these high-risk patients perform? And what we're seeing is that uh, they do very well, uh, uh, and the progression-free survival is very encouraging, and ongoing follow-up is, is still uh, be, uh, being, being observed. 